This is the Pico Streamline Code 55 N Gauge SL hyphen E three nine four F long crossing. There are four wires pre soldered onto the back of this unit. The pre soldered wire at each end of the long crossing is soldered onto the V section highlighted by the pencil which will need the polarity changed as the train crosses. The two pre-soldered wires on the centre of the crossing are each soldered to the outside rail of the diamond and this can be used to for a power supply for the juicer. This is the Dual Frog Juicer, tamvalleydepot.com. The Dual Frog Juicer has one input and one output. The top left are the input. This is your normal power, plus and minus, which can be taken from your bus line, can be taken direct from the track, or in the case here, I have used the two pre-soldered wires on the back of the diamond. The output is on the right hand side. This is connected to the diamond and the frog will change the polarity as the train crosses the point. As the train crosses onto the diamond, in this area here, the dual frog juicer will automatically switch the polarity of the track. And if the train's coming from this direction, again the dual frog juicer will change the polarity of the track to allow the chain to pass over it successfully. You can see this happening as the light here is showing. This light is showing that it's set to a certain polarity. As the train crosses over, the light will change colour. Currently it's green and it will change to red, which means it's changed the polarity. Hopefully this will be clear in the as the train goes across in the demo.